Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, explaining that I was arrested in 2016. Uh -huh. But the traffic citation is the right form or the wrong form. Mm -hmm. And there was no signature on the police report? Yeah. And uh, furthermore, he was in Port Angeles, not Swim. Uh -huh. Mr. Budnick's not convinced his ex-wife, although he referred to uh, or referred to her as his wife, yeah, was intentionally trying to harm him. Mm. Now, this, uh, I asked Mr. Budnick if he thought he could be or would be treated fairly or fairly by the court, yeah. Mm. He stated that depending on what his public defender did. Mm. Mr. Budnick, yeah, believed that he could show evidence I wasn't there on June 16th of 2017. Mm. It is abusive mm -hmm. to my five sons to deprive them. Yeah. Now, um, there's the state. Yes. Mm -hmm. As I remember the conversation, Phyllis, you said that this is public knowledge to every employee of the state. Yeah. And that every employee that has the right to look at my mental health evaluations, mm -hmm. they all have an obligation to believe what you've written. Well, uh, let's see here. Yes. At uh, 11.39 a.m. on June 16th of 2017, I made the last video. Yes. But I uploaded it first on June 16th of 2017. Yes. At 12.10 uh, p.m. Yeah. Paul Budnick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually did this. I uploaded those videos on that day. Mm -hmm. And I made them that day. Ouch. And I wasn't in Brennan. Yeah. Now, for every employee that has uh, the availability of accessing mental health evaluations, yeah. could you get me all their IP addresses? Every employee of the state, uh, Health and Human Services. Mm -hmm. See, there's this reluctance to actually admit the truth, right, that I wasn't there. And since... Um, Every employee is depending on these mental evaluations, yes, to uh, consider me as a possible concern, yeah, mm -hmm. psychotic, uh, Mr. Roberts, yes, yeah, sure. uh, psychotropic medication against my will, Jack, yeah, um, I think this proves that I wasn't there, mm-hmm. Now, I can get you copies of the emails that I sent that day. Yeah. But they were not, they were not uh, lewd or lascivious. Yes. In fact, I didn't send any emails mm -hmm. to the Brennan or Quilcene school districts. Mm -hmm. Now, I made this uh, video first. Yes. At 8.46 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I uploaded it last at 12.39 p.m. Yes. Now, if you want me to get the bus schedules out, I can prove that I wasn't in Britain, Washington. Now, everyone that knows that they have the right to access what are known as mental evaluations, yes, yes, yes. See, the defendant's competency to stand trial was evaluated against Washington State's version of the Dusky Standard. Mm. Namely, whether as a result of a mental disease or defect, yes, the defendant lacks the capacity to understand the nature of the legal proceedings against him or her or to assist in his or her own defense. Yes. Now, it would have been nice if Jefferson County would have believed me, but they wouldn't. See, my own public defender said, well, you're having a 1077. I'm like, well. I wasn't there. I'm not guilty. I didn't uh, commit any domestic violence, and I didn't send any cyber-stalking emails. Now, um, it is abusive to my five sons, yes, to deprive them of the evidence, yep, that their father did not commit any violating of the restraint provisions of the protection order. <laughs> And I didn't email any co-workers of the Brennan School District, yes, anything abusive, lewd, lascivious, or any other evaluation of what is known as cyber-stalking, yes, that I, as the defendant, did not, in Jefferson County, Washington, on June 16th of 2017 or earlier, did not with any intent to harass, intimidate, torment, or embarrass any other person, yes, 
And under, under no circumstances did it ever constitute telephone harassment. Yet, I didn't make any electronic communications to such person or third party. Yes. Now, this third party that uh, the prosecuting attorney said? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I actually have an email from a third party co-worker. Yes. Mm -hmm. That I said something very vulgar. Yes. Mm -hmm. I never emailed any third party. I emailed the civil rights coordinators of the state of Washington. Well, uh, I emailed the sheriff's department. Yes. Mm -hmm. I emailed the police department. Yep. And every person that has the legal right to access. Yes. Any mental evaluations. Yeah. I'm going to sue them all for having any knowledge of the fraud. Mm -hmm. Now, when I told you I was going to. No, you don't understand. Mm hmm. You will have to inform the state that I was not in Brennan, Washington on or about June 16th of 2017. Yes. And then you will have to tell every employee that has the legal right to access any of these mental evaluations. Any psychiatrist, psychologist, mm -hmm. any of those in welfare right now, mm -hmm. any employee, right? now that this is all fraud mm -hmm. and it's being used yes to obstruct my rights as a parent mm -hmm. now for those of you that doubt my sincerity about suing you yes mm -hmm. you made me go to 16 months of court hearings in jefferson county mm -hmm. when i had emailed law enforcement that day yes links to the same videos yes where you could have seen when I had made them. Yes. Because at that time, they didn't have the new uh, creator studio. Yeah. At that time, it was the classic. Yes. Now, uh, let's see here. It says here, an email sent by Mr. Budnick on Friday, June 16th of 2017. Yes. To numerous recipients, including people at that Heidi Budnick's workplace. <laughs> that I demanded that they remove the protection order that is at issue in the case. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, I demanded that you removed it because the petitioner didn't, 